Hey guys, and welcome back to Tech It. Alright, getting straight into it, there's something I need to correct from last episode. So, my pipe distribution, it was wrong. So, I've had to fix it up with this. Use a normal wooden pipe, don't use an, um, an advanced one. I've set it so that only, using a sorting pipe, only the lava cells will go through the black, and everything else will cycle back through the yellow into the condenser. So, if cobblestone comes through, it'll go back into lava cells and the lava cells will keep going through and going into the uh, geothermals here. So also the other thing was to make sure you put the distribution pipes and the pipes feeding into the bottom of the geothermals as you can see there because the lava cells were actually going to the top cell when putting it into the side. Something I warned about but didn't listen to. Okay, now I'm going to need to make oh, some nano armor. We need to start gearing up. It's dangerous out there. Okay, so we'll start with the body armor, and that's made using carbon plate and an energy crystal. Now, carbon plate's raw carbon mesh, made from two raw carbon fiber, which is made from four coal dust, which is made from macerating coal. So you need eight coal dust per carbon plate, because you need four per, two per carbon mesh, as you can see. And then you're able to make it. So we need seven, and we need eight of each, so we need about 56 coal just to make the body plate. Then you need the eight redstone and the one diamond for the energy crystal. So, um, let's start off by making, well, yeah, we're going to have to make a whole heap of coal. So I'll get that going, and we'll get into the process of actually making it. I, I just stopped what I'm doing for a second to show you guys this. Now, I don't usually mess with this, but if you pop redstone and iron into the aloe furnace, you get this, which is red aloe ingot, which you can turn into those wires there. So, that's how you make one. I've already got three, though, so... Let's do this, you get 12 wire. Now, these work just like redstone. Try and demonstrate... Ooh, there's a bit of a hole there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't usually use it, but it does come with some really good benefits, like um, if water is to flow over red wire, it doesn't break in comparison to, say, redstone, which does. And also, um, I don't think it quite works with blocks the same. I can't remember the deal there. We'll just give it a bit of a look. Gonna have to sort of figure this as I go. Because I want it to power the pipe as well from the one, the gold pipe. But I also want to be able to switch it off when I need, because every now and again I need to use the macerator for, well, coal dust, and I don't want it to go to the furnace because it doesn't need to. So I'm going to... Try and stop. Ugh. Oh, that's alright. Gonna try and make it so that I can just flip a switch, turn the engine off, yeah, and well, I can do that, but at the moment it's really in the, in a really hard to get to place. <laughs> so if we move it up a bit, it should be a bit better. Um, I don't think this is gonna work. If I pop that there, then close it up, and can I put the red? Below it, will that power it? Let's give it a shot. I don't think that's worked. It's not. Well, we'll see in a second. Uh, no. No, not working. Okay, let's break that. Now I'm going to need to obviously have the lever on the same level. I don't know what I'm thinking. How do we get the red alloy to go up it? Ah, no, sorry, that's the other benefit to red alloy wire. It can actually climb up a block, up a block. So, gonna have to st we'll have to place these down, and I'm thinking I'm going to have to get in here because I'll have to get to the other side of this block. So, let's smash that. So, yeah, see, it goes up a block like that. So, let's just, let's break this. There we go. All right, so if I whack this here, there we go. Cool. Bam. Ah, uh, no, whoops. I just want the switch. Now, let's see this. Let's pop that there. Let's close it back up. Bam, yep, cool. So that's both in one. So when I need to macerate coal, I can just hit the, hit the switch and it'll turn that off. Cool, just macerating up a whole heap of coal here. I'm already starting to make some carbon plate. Got a lot more going through. I've got it overclocked as high as I can, which I believe is seven per machine. Uh, there we go. Making some more of this. Cool. Got four more. 
combine them, see that's your carbon mesh, and then you whack it in the compressor. Which is slow as can be. But at the moment I'm using all my overclockers on the macerator. <laughs> Alrighty, and the MFE is not draining, it's still gaining. The lava cell distribution should be able to keep up with this load, but... Okay. Okay guys, just outside of the moment. Now. Ooh. As for what I'm going to do out here, I'm not 100% sure what part of this land I'll use. I mean, it's a volcano there. It's a forest. I've slowed down the cobblestone generator for the minute. Um, there is a lot you can do with this land. I mean, none of it's too special, but it's decently flat and it's quite pretty. So there's a good few things around, like water formations and stuff. So... Hoping to make a huge, big sanctuary city, like we're talking massive, with loads of security protocols for trade, and then I'll establish it on a multiplayer server eventually. Um, I've had this idea for a long time. I know how to make uh, sorting gates when you want to enter the city. It'll sort out all malicious goods and everything like that so you can enter safely. Uh, the ways to break up districts, so, and ways to limit people from sneaking in items for griefing purposes. Very tricky. Very tricky. But... I have planned it all out, and it will come to fruition as we get to it. But for now, back to the simple stuff. Okay. Now, if we're going to be building outside where the wild things are, we're going to need a gun, which is iron, flint and steel. That makes you the barrel, and the stock is two sticks and a piece of wood plank. So let's start with the stock. Cool. Uh, or flint and steel, there we go, iron, 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 got it, bam, pop that there, stock, got a musket, one on top, one below, and I'm going to add a bayonet, so a knife, so one stick and a piece of iron, grab a couple more, whack it there, bam, shanker, and next two, there we go, musket, now to fire a musket, you need musket rounds, which are iron, gunpowder, and paper, one of the more expensive of the rounds out there, but we got a little bit here, so put that there, two, and you get eight per, so it's, it's really not too bad. Now, these are good. <laughs> Muskets hit hard, and they have a decent range. You definitely topple any skeleton. So let's go up here. Let's find something to shoot. Ah, there we go. Freaking hate spiders. Hold it, tw hold right click, and allow it to click twice. Then hold it in again. Draw it back. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. You point, see, hold right, snap, second click, you'll hit two clicks, draw it back, can I hit this pig? Oh, bit of kick. Nah, okay, that's a bit too far. Well, that's alright. So there are a few different types of guns, I'm just going to sit here and try and shoot a few things. You can also make a blunderbuss, which is um, more a tight spot sort of gun, reloads quicker, it only requires one click. And it sends a spray out. So if you've got three zombies coming at you, you can just spray your blunderbuss and it will actually hit most likely all three. And because it reloads quick, you can just, and it gives a knockback as well. So you can just boom, boom, knock them back. It's a very helpful weapon if you want to be um, cavern digging. Because monsters come out of nowhere and it's good to just be able to knock a creeper back if you've only got a quick second. Try to shoot this skeleton. There are a few other weapons you can make. Ah, got him. See, that's a pretty good range. Um, you can also make, well, you saw knives. You can make poison darts that are shot out of a blowgun. You can make um, spears, flails. I find I'm not a big fan of any of them except the guns, which may seem a little lame, but they are just the most effective. They're the most resource draining, but they are the most effective by a mile. Ah, that might be how those skeletons are getting up on my roof. Um, let's just, we'll double it up, there we go, actually, better close all this up so they're not climbing up here, yeah, there's, I mean, there's a few different things to say, the spear, I believe it's the spear, if you jump off a high ledge and hit something as you're falling, you get a crit hit, and that can do a lot of damage, and you can chuck a spear, but, well, I don't know how to throw a spear, apparently, because I can only throw them about four meters, it's terrible, so, I stick to the guns, point, click, dead. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna try and shoot one of these squids. Oh, has a pretty excellent range. 
Let's see if I can get it. Let's get that one. He's stuck. Did he die? Oh, he died. You can even shoot through water. Yeah. As for the flail and things like that, I don't think they're... I think they hit him but didn't kill him, actually. Oh, he's lucky. But yeah, the flail is really glitchy. And there is one other thing you can make, which I also find incredibly glitchy, uh, especially on multiplayer servers. Um, a cannon. Oh, creeper. Yes. This is what they're best for. Destroying creepers before they even see you. Let's see if we can get him. Ow. Oh, damn. I wanted to trick shot him. <laughs> Oh, I am a terrible shot. Anyway. So yeah, there are many different weapons. Okay, guys. Just whacked together this body armor. And I've also got myself some leggings. So there we go. I'm going to grab those. And I'm going to show you how to charge them. Now, you can make yourself a charging bench. Or you can just use an MFA. Now, I'm looking to get a jetpack. So I'm also going to make some rubber boots. So I'll show you that real quick. And then I'll show you the charging. Rubber, 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 around the edges, wool in the middle, down the bottom, boots. Now, those absorb fall damage. So, if you fall, they absorb a good amount of the damage and break. But they break pretty quick, admittedly. I'm not 100% sure if nano boots double up. So, to charge a nano, um, a piece of bo um, nano armor, as you can see, pop it in your MFE. You cannot use a bat box. It doesn't work. Uh, you need either an MFE or charging benches. Charging benches come in different marks. This is a Nano Sabre that requires an MFE or higher as well. I'm going to make one of those eventually. And they're about the only thing that can break this body armor. So if you're hit with a Nano Sabre, it breaks your body armor pretty quick. Now it used to destroy it and it hit, but I don't know if that's the case still. It probably still is. Now that's fully charged. Let's charge up the leggings. Let's pop this on. Oh yeah. Looking like a boss. As you can see, it... When you do charge items like this, they will drain your power. They will, they will take everything they can for a few seconds. So don't expect your power to pan out while you do it. Um, let's move on. Okay. I want to show you this nifty little device. Now, I've never used this. I think it might be pretty fun to give a shot and show you guys see how it works. So you need a solar panel. A few wires, as you just saw. And a bit of iron. Let's do this. But you can make yourself... A solar helmet. <laughs> so this generates one EU a tick. And I think it's if you're wearing a jetpack, it'll charge your jetpack as you fly. So it'll charge it for about 20, 20 EU a second. Sort of thing. So here's a jetpack. That's what I'm going to make very soon. And if you're wearing the helmet, you'll charge that. So I don't want to always wear the helmet because it looks stupid. But I want to have it on me in case I run out of power in the middle of nowhere. I can whack my helmet on and fly back. Okay, just grabbing a bit more plate. And we'll finish up the last few pieces of the armor. Okay, for the helmet, you need a piece of glass in there as well. There we go. I'm going to charge this up. So yeah, I don't usually bother making the benches, um, the charging benches, mark one, two, or three. Uh, why would I make a bench when I already, yeah, I don't know. They, I always keep my, my power boxes in close vicinity, so I just use those. But for aesthetic reasons, I may move on to a, a bench when I expand Whack these buggers in here and fix them up. They're getting close to broken. Might as well use that talisman. Cool. Okay, gonna need to make a bit more coal. Running out of coal. As you can tell. Is it so much? I'll just make some copper to EMC for it, or do I have something better? Oh, uh, we'll figure it out. Alrighty, let's pop down here, and pop the boots in. So I made myself some boots, shiny new black boots, let's get that into there, use some copper to condense for the, uh, for the coal. Uh, yeah, sorting seems to be producing a few things now. Cool, whack that in there. When the condenser for some reason must be one of the multiple tin blocks. Alright, these boots ought to be done. There we go. As soon as the power starts gaining again, you know they're done. So it's all good. Let's grab those, whack those on. Full armor. Now when you're wearing full armor and it's fully charged, you have 90% damage reduction. So you don't take the damage your suit does. And it drains power instead. 
Not 100% sure what you like when you've got no power, though. But there are 100,000 EU per body armor. So they do take a decent bit of power. So they've probably been slogging out our geos. Let's give them a bit of a look there. Ooh. There's a whole heap of coal in there. Nice. Let's grab that. Yeah, these are doing fine. They've still got plenty of heat stored up, ready to distribute, and the lava cells are creating. As I said, I turned the cobblestone generator right down at the moment, but it's still plenty enough. You just sort of adjust the speed as you find necessary. I'm just going to pop out here. See? It's nowhere near as fast as it was before. I think I've got it in a few seconds. Five seconds or something. And one of the main reasons I want the jetpack is when you do a quarry, as you may be able to tell when I glance down here every now and again, there are so many ores in the wall. Look at all those ores. Coal, tin, iron, everything. Most people do their quarry and some of them will build it right next to each other or they'll just both, they'll place it elsewhere and move straight on or anything of the sort. But, yeah. Why would you leave all those resources? So, I make a jetpack and it helps you fly down there and be able to get all of the ores out of the wall. So, let's get on to making that jetpack. Okay, guys, whacking together the advanced circuit, lapis glowstone redstone circuit. Okay, we're going to make this. Let's do this. So, you need some glowstone, some refined iron, a bat box, and an advanced circuit. Bam, 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 bam. Do it. There you go. Electric jetpack. Now, these little things don't take much to charge. They last a good to a good amount of time, but um, I have them conk out on me all the time when I'm just not paying enough attention. Now, I also want to make this mining laser. Now, this makes mining out of the walls a lot easier. It's two advanced crystals, four plate, and an advanced circuit. So, when you're flying with a jetpack and trying to pick, it just doesn't work. So, you get the laser, and you can just fly down and pew, 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 shoot out the walls, and you just... It's amazing. It takes mining to a whole new level. Wicked. I can fly. Let's put on these boots, these rubber boots. Make sure I don't take any fall damage. Uh, I swear the nano ones do do it. Okay, so hold M and press space. And that's how you change your mode. You see it, hover mode enabled. You probably only see ver mode <laughs> with how my video cuts cuts it. But it's hover mode. So this is hover mode. It's a lot slower. You, d you, you descend slowly like this. It's sort of on and offset itself to keep you falling at a, at a, a really good rate. So... Actually, the boots are pretty much pointless now because hover mode works in single player. It often doesn't work in multiplayer, sorry. Um, let's just grab these. Ooh, just getting out of there. Okay. I'll pop these boots back on. I think they're fine. And let's put the armor on. Now, I've grabbed all these ores just from about two minutes. And that's just out of the walls. Not even all the walls. Couldn't get them all because I don't have the laser. But for now, I want to show you the damage reduction. So... When I'm going to be building out here, making a foundation, I can't worry about these. <laughs> Not that I have to. See that? Didn't even touch my hearts. Now, the zombie will probably do a little bit. Yeah, there we go, see? He's taken off half a heart so far. Ooh. But it seems to regen at a rate that you can't really combat. Let's look for something a little bit more telling. Now, I all know what most... Like we all know what most people want damage reduction for. Those surprise moments. Alright, where the hell is a creeper? When you want the pricks, they're nowhere. Come on. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Careful what you wish for. Spider here, creeper. Not even worried about this spider. Alright, let's see what this does. Ooh. Ooh, one heart. Suck it, Creeper. You are nothing. Oh, one and a half hearts. He was something. So you lose a little bit. A little bit. But then, if you always have the handy cans on here, bring back hunger and health, you're perfect. Do it. Half a heart. It's already back. Come on. Oh, he did nothing. See, so this is the benefit of Nano. That Nano is also used to make Quantum. That quantum's really, really cool. It's even more ridiculously powerful. And it comes with special abilities built into the suit. Now, I'll show you those when I make quantum. But that's that's a pretty far-off dream for the minute. But for now, 
nano suit pretty much made me a god to these creatures. So, we no longer need to fear the night. Okay. Just making the mining laser now. So, four advanced alloys, the circuit, the crystals, and the redstone. Let's do it. Now, this sucker, this sucker takes a bit of power to charge up. So, write that down and go make a cup of tea, read a book, peruse through the local paper. Something, because it's going to take a minute. Let's whack those down there. Starting to run pretty dry on resources after making all this armor and lasers and jetpacks, but they are necessary for the construction we're going to be doing. Now, the jetpack is cool and all, but there is a far better alternative in equivalent exchange. Um, it pretty much gives you creative mode flying, but it does require fuel. So, I'm not... I like to use it. it. It definitely makes large construction far, far better than trying to hover, 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 hover. It, you can just fly around like nothing. It's called uh, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. It's a ring. You put it on your hotbar and you can use it. You can also shoot mobs with a leaf, which sends them flying into the air. Anyway, <laughs> some pretty cool abilities in EE. I don't usually touch too many of them, but I will explore... Um, several different ones to sh demonstrate them to you guys, but I will say if you're looking for relays and things like that, I most likely will not cover them. Okay. Just still a bit of housekeeping while I wait for the laser. Let's go see if it's done. Yep, cool. It's done now. Now, it's called a mining laser, and that is very much what it's for and what I use it for, but it does do a lot more than that. So, let me demonstrate. Low focus is, once again, hold M and right click, just like with a um, jetpack. Low focus is your mining one. It pretty much shoots two blocks or three blocks away. Okay, uses very low power. It's the best one to use for mining um, if you just want to do some quick mining of simple things nearby. you got a long range. Let's give that a shot. Uh, too far. <laughs> I don't actually know the range on long range. It uses so much power. As you can tell, you can... S no. Come back, piggy. You can noticeably see the power drop. Ooh. And if you hit a mob, you set them on fire. <laughs> horizontal. Don't use horizontal. Mm. Aiming angle too steep. Ah, stuff it. This is super heat, so you cycle through them by holding M and right-clicking. So, I mean, you'll set anything on fire with just low focus as well, but super heat does some pretty cool stuff like... Turn. <laughs> Sand to glass. See? I think it's pretty cool. Let's make a little let's make a little thing here. I might make a pool actually. This is, this is a pretty good little spot. Make a pool over here. I can I will. This would be the starting frame to it. I don't know if I make the frame out of glass. But yeah, as you can tell, shoot it, turns into glass. I'm sure there are other applications for superheat, but that's the only one I've ever messed with. Scatter shot. I am not shooting that anywhere near here. So, let's go for a little fly on my jetpack. And, ooh, what do we have here? Perfect. Perfect. All right. So, when you disable, disable hover mode, as you can tell, you fly vertically a lot quicker, but it is really hard to go forward as fast. Um, some people say, oh, I can control it, but... It is faster to move forward with hover. And it uses far less power. But anyway, vertical's the best for getting out of a spot really quick. Say a creeper's crept up on you. Oof, that's scatter. Take a look at that. Get a bit closer. It uses a lot of power, but my god, does it decimate. And let's use my next favourite. Explosive. Oof. Pretty much shoot a creeper out the barrel. <laughs> Boom. Jesus. I hope nobody lived there. Oh, and that's mining. Mining shoots for about, I don't know, 8 blocks or 16 blocks or something. So that's better when you're um, mining underground or strip mining or something. You want to use the mining one. Otherwise, low focus for little bits. Now, as you can tell, in three quarters of a charge and a bit of a tirade, you can decimate with a mining laser. The fire ought to handle the rest of that. Now, for the power consumption, you don't do that much damage, really, but it is very fun. Though no griefing. Don't be a griefer. Just kidding. Grief if you like. Just don't grief me. Alrighty. 
Well, guys, I think that's about it for now. So, moving on towards building up now to make my large sanctuary trade city. For the minute, I've collected all the tools and weapons and armor I need to stay safe during the night while I build. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Hey, guys, a Tricky here. Coming up with the next episode of Tech It, Tools of the Trade. Now, we covered a lot of the tools and a lot of the machines needed to start up and take it. But now, let's look into the items we need to really do some large-scale construction. Many different things, a builder, diamond drills, uh, chainsaws for wood collection, things that will really increase our efficiency and um, really help us build up this sanctuary that I'm looking towards making a lot quicker. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Like, favorite and subscribe. Share the video if you can. Really helps me out. And until next time guys, have a good one.